Kind of survival mode, just getting the, getting the boys down. Depulsification, that fancy style. ourselves a top-notch work crew going here in the mountains. We take care of our nature out here for the next generation. Even the split wood has a moisture content to it. The dead wood. Big and notice which side I'm putting down. The sharp edge side. That's a cold steel trailmaster owning it in very cold conditions. Nice. Alright guys, that's a little sweet. Snow bench is complete on top of about again five or six feet of snow. Oh, oh dude! Daddy do not like. Watch your buddy before you maneuver that knife. See where he's at before you post that knife up. You might just stab him right in the face accidentally. Hot sauce, Cajun seasoning. Ali slept the night with these guys. Got that rare bit we saw. But you're not wearing this? This seems like they'd be really warm. At least six feet. That's just a few minutes. Snow coming down hard here in the mountains. Another winter adventure, net and fancy, up in the mountains. It's gorgeous out here. This is exactly the day I wanted, just like this. Here comes Allie the mountain dog, check her. She's not supposed to be running, but she is. That's because in her back right hind quarter, actually I think her knee, she needs an ACL replacement. Might be something other than that. We need to actually operate, the vet says, to find out. No, they don't do MRIs on dogs. They need to just operate. You just got enough money. It is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. I told you guys in my Twitter, uh, I don't know, about three grand to get her fixed and we're gonna do it. The reason I wanted this day is because, I haven't told you guys this, but I actually participate in youth groups and uh, try to take them up and teach them some of the, the skills that can keep you alive and comfortable out in this. I got a youth group waiting for me right now. It's kind of a small turnout. We got like three uh, dudes. We got another adult leader, myself, taking them up. These guys are not totally experienced in these types of conditions, and that's my job. Kind of square them away. We didn't have a ton of time for preparation and seminars and stuff. I gave them a, a short seminar last week telling them what to pack. And you'll learn from their systems too. The stuff I'm gonna cover is probably similar to your system. And uh, I've covered a lot, no doubt, in other videos. You guys can learn from it. Check this out. I got them hauling our tow sled up. We're gonna go on this snowy, snowy road up to a camping area, make some fire and bivouac up there. All right, here's our tow sled. I've told you guys about this before on the video posted like many years ago, the Cold Steel Adventure, you saw this. Anytime I can take it in a winter environment on this type of terrain, I will. It carries essential group supplies not the saw viver this time. How about a 30 inch wood saw? Something proper, because SAWC permits it. Several snow shovels, tripod, sunscreen, and what do you know? Inside of this, two Red Rider BB guns, yo. Awesome. Are you good with that? I'm good. 
I'm down. This is Batman. <laughs> that shredder over there. I don't even know where they came up with these names. They might be YouTube. I don't even look. Don't have time to look. And then Ice. Sad Panda. Sad Panda is what you're going by. This is the other adult leader, Bro C. Bro C. Bro C. And we've got some awesome conditions. Heavy snow. Are you guys scared, Batman? No, please. I'm hoping it precips the whole trip. <laughs> um, these guys are somewhat novices out in the woods here. We're gonna teach them firecraft skills. A lot of stuff you've seen on the Nut and Fancy project already. Lots. And we're gonna really stress safety with our woods tools. In this bag, I wanna open it now. We've got several axes. We've got, oh, Bro C will open it, awesome. We've got um, several survival knives that will be tested if we have time and we're gonna lose light here in a little bit. There's Allie's Polar Trek boots. I may put those on her later. 550 cord extra leather gloves for these guys that I know didn't bring leather gloves. Right. I brought them. I you brought, did? I brought work gloves. We had a seminar last week. I was like, dudes, make sure you bring this stuff. Some are working. Yeah. <laughs> Some are working. We should have had a grip of what, like eight dudes here, right? Yeah. We're only manly enough to show up. Everybody exactly. Right? We're going to show them this video and say, hey, hope you had fun playing your video games. Meanwhile, we're out living life. Knives are in this one right here, yo. We'll break them out later. Okay. And check out how we're hauling these up. Awesome sled. Youth of America. They have the energy and the strength, right, Batman? Huh? What are you talking about, man? I can't, no, actually, I got it, I got it. Everybody's full of uh, confidence at the beginning of the hike. I'll check in with you in about a mile. <laughs> Off we go, head go up, go. let's go. We will run out of daylight, fellas. That's just the way it's gonna go. It's winter time, even though daylight savings time has kicked in, yeah, we're gonna we're lose daylight. We're pulling 6.15, so. Yeah, was it 6.15 p.m. as we start out? Yeah, I think so. We had to wait for these guys to get back from school today. My pack is Eagle, military pack, 7850, whatever it's called, right back here. Still undergoing testing. What a beautiful day this is. Hey, nothing fancy, why aren't you wearing your snowshoes? You don't wear snowshoes for the heck of it. It's like I've said a thousand times, it burns more energy. This is a hard packed road surface so far. I reckon my pack on this one weighs about 60. I know, that's crazy. Always lagging behind with the camera work. That's how the memories are preserved. Ah, this beautiful area. Can't let Allie run too much. She'll be prostrate tomorrow. We'll have to put her on the sled. Resituating the sled on the toe up. You guys gonna team haul it? Is that what you're doing? It's always fun watching the teamwork efforts on this. Awesome. So how far are we going up? Eh, I reckon it's about two, maybe a little over two miles. It's really hard to get a good reading in the canyon here with the GPS so it'll break lock. As we go up to some pretty steep walls like that and some more up here. This is really a great youth hike. I've been doing it for years because it's easy enough where they can gain confidence in the stuff I'll 
attempt to teach them. And it's short enough you can do a quick overnight out of it. That's a game plan at least. Team mushing in progress. They haul the sled up. Notice we're not hauling that sled, <laughs> bro -see. That's right. You know, age should have a couple of privileges. This is one of them. <laughs> like bad knees? Yeah, I'm working that today, big time. By the way, if we do have medical issues, we're pretty much set on this net and fancy hike. That's because bro C here is a doctor. That I am. Your specialty, sir? Family practice. Awesome, urgent care too, right? Urgent care. Get ready to fall off this mountain, speaking of urgent care. We can get some good shots going down. It'd be worth it. You know, you'd think we'd be smart enough to be home nice and warm, but no, we know how to have an adventure. Not today. Not today. Get these kids out. Hopefully, the word will get out. We'll get more of these dudes out on future campouts. Trying to get their outdoor program on track. That's right. This is where you do it. No, that is, there's nothing prettier than that. It's beautiful. Those mount, those trees. Just beautiful. Covered. Yeah. The rocks. Uh huh. What a rugged picture. It really is. I would like to, if these guys are bragging about how fast they hike, we could have a contest one day. See who can go from the bottom to the top <laughs> in the summer with no snow. We'll sit back here in lawn chairs with binoculars laughing. It's pointing. You're in the lead! We can do any better. That is really rugged terrain. Everything out here is really. Right about this point in the hike, they realize the sled is a little bit of weight. Well, the fact that you keep climbing on it adds. Yeah. Free ride. Not when they're looking. We got a strap alley to it. You need a rest on the sled, Dogness? Just kidding. Princess. You got to pull her own weight. You guys are doing pretty good, though, sled-wise. Nice, easy pace. Oh, I just post hole big right there. That's coming off the road. Where the snow is going to be multiple feet deep, especially where we're going. Mush. What was your name again? Scared Panda? Sad. Sad Panda. Sad Panda. Sad Panda. Batman taking a rest from sled duties. Hey, fair and bat. I'm still flying. Sweet. What I love about this is there's no cell phone contact at all. All the texting stops, video games are gone. Out in the woods. Love it. They'll love it too. Maybe cold out, but stay hydrated. It's really not that cold. It's like on the borderline of snow rain. 33, 34 maybe? Yeah, I got a cump on the back of my backpack. That's that's about right. Just barely enough for it where it's snowing. Heavy snow. Yep. It was coming down a little while ago. Yep. Big time. We'll probably see some more of that. Not too cold out here though. Nope. It's not bad. Allie doesn't have her shoes on because she doesn't need them. It's warm enough. Like in Sub-Zero, that adventure, she needed her shoes because it was just frigid. All right, Golden. here we go. We'll take another rest Golden. break up here in a little bit. Sometimes when you get youth out, if you guys uh, do this and you're a youth leader, teaching kids how to do this stuff, set some rules and uh, what I'm doing is training these guys for future hikes. Also, so they don't dust you and I. That's right. Because they're a lot faster than we are. We're pacing them. Yeah, but uh, you know, teach them about rest breaks. A lot of times you'll get a bunch of boys together and they want to outdo each other and they can exhaust each other. It's a race actually. to the top. And we've had them get way in the backcountry on past adventures and literally they fall over on their face because they haven't been drinking, they're dehydrated, and they've exhausted themselves. So that's our job as the adult leaders set the rules again so we don't get dusted. Right. Also to 
help them out too. Keep it, keep it pleasant. Yes. I don't know about you, but I don't dig just going out there and just killing myself no. on a hike. No, uh, that's can, not fun. I can do that at the gym. <laughs> exactly, especially with this. That's right. About 60 pounds today, more or less. I'll have to clean this lens here in a sec. When uh, said Panda was seven, we had him haul up their Wind Rivers. He uh, he didn't pace this well at that time. Did he get tuckered out? He did. But he hung in there. How we, how's Batman doing? I'm good. Hanging tough? He, he was back a ways. He just caught up. He's flying. Sweet. Dude, you got cotton pants on. Shame. They will not dry out the rest of the camp out. Do you have a backup pair? Yeah. So you'll you'll be working on these keeping yourself halfway warm. If we were in serious winter camp. That wouldn't be good. You'd struggle. Gators are good too, if you have those, so at least the lower portion by your boots is synthetic and shed snow. Yep. I don't have them on because I got my Gore-Tex pants on. Then I have wool under that. All right, if you're rearranging underwear, make sure we don't see cheek. <laughs> <laughs> G-rated show here. Always has been in the Nun Fancy Project. Hey, check this out. Yellow and yellow. I'm matching my dog. Some guys will say, why are you wearing yellow, Nun Fancy? We thought you were like Joe Tactical. Well, one, this is a top that I tested for Ella Bean. It's called Activent by Gore-Tex. It's a really breathable membrane. I don't think they make it anymore. They have something, I don't know, like it. It's great, it really does breathe well, it gives some waterproofness. And for what we're doing today, yellow is a perfect color. I'm not always about the tans and blacks, ODs. Yellow snow, I mean, you can't go wrong there. <laughs> that's one type of yellow I think I'll avoid. Uh, yellow snow, that's yeah. right. I'll make some up here though. I have no doubt. Yeah. And if you don't, we'll be worried. Onward, upward, fellas, mush! It just hurts my my thighs watching them tow that sled up. <laughs> <laughs> now a lot of what I've talked about in my other videos, guys, you're seeing it in person right now. These youth are probably like youth that you know. They're great kids. They are surrounded by technology, however. And technology can be a curse in a lot of different levels. One level is it takes them out of real life it absorbs them into an artificial existence that has no corollary with real life. It's totally dependent on electricity. Yep. Internet. Yep. You know, it, it just, it, and then when you get out here, you ain't got much of any of that. It's basically what you've brought in on your back. There you go. Or in this case, on your sled. And it teaches the boys some confidence too. And that's. That's what we want, to give them a little bit of confidence in this stuff. And to give them a fun adventure memory. That rain cover is working out sweet, by the way. I like it. Sweet. It's catching all the snow, so you can use it for water later on. How are those systems working? Sad panda. <laughs> there you go, team effort. I didn't even notice until you said it. By the way, that's another thing I want to stress. When we take you on other hikes, if and when, it is a team effort. You help your buddy out, he helps you out. We either all make it together or we all fail together. Got it? Oh yeah, that man's solo. <laughs> no man, Batman's got Robin. What are you talking about? Batman's got issues. And if it wasn't for the man, who, who's the guy that's back taking care of the back car? Oh, Robin? Yeah. <laughs> Alfred, are you Alfred? Where are you without Al? <laughs> I'll, big, I'll be Big Al. Back. <laughs> big Al. Well, take it from me without your crew chief. You got no plane to fly. <laughs> You're you don't have no Batmobile either. <laughs> You're basically <laughs> on foot with a sled, kind of like today. On <laughs> Enjoy. Are you back into the harness, pulling? Your brakes over, Batman. Yep. All right. Yeah. We should have loaded that down with some more luxuries for you and I, bro. I'm See? climbing on there, man. Go ahead, they wouldn't know it. <laughs> Look at Allie, rooting in the snow. 
What are you smelling there, dog? Lecture on keeping hydrated. <laughs> you're so funny, dog. Think you're going after some mouse or something? I cannot keep my lens clean. Oh well. Too much snow. It's a disposable camera. <laughs> yeah, it's only a thou. Easy thou for Google. The other ones bought it for me. All right, guys, check this out. Your next break point is where that road bends and starts climbing. Set little break points for yourself. By the way, what they're doing is not easy. We're joking about it, but it's a lot of work. So how much harder is it than the hiking you're doing now, Seth Panda? Well, Give me a percentage. It's percentage harder carrying the sled. Come on, man. A panda to give you numbers? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should rename him Smart Panda. Yeah. Give him some confidence with Art numbers. Articulate Panda. <clears throat> I bet you it adds 40% more to your exertion level. Yeah, yeah I wasn't going to say 50. I, I find that uh, the young men tend to go to bed earlier when you <laughs> have them haul a, a bit up the side. No one to text. No one to challenge on the console. Thighs are burning. Just you and me to listen to. Our <laughs> Poor kids. Are we singing for them again tonight? Yeah, you want to do that duet again? That That's rocked. Right. I get the low part this time. I'll do tenor. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're just kidding, guys. By the way, that's an essential part on your youth camping experience. Kidding around, making it fun. If you don't make it fun, they'll never want to go again. Good girl. Good dog. How's that leg doing, dogness? All right, they reached their break point. As usual, as I'm getting camera shots, I will lag behind. Oh, that was a fail. Powerade miss. Oh yeah. Okay, rotate positions, guys. Coach. So how's that sled pulling treating you? Take me out, coach. <laughs> I'm done. Are you uh, as excited as you were at the beginning, Batman? <laughs> Ooh, I'm a, a little worse for wear, but. <laughs> you want to go solo up this? We're getting into a steep section, by the way. This is nothing what you've been on so far. Just saying. You want to go solo on that? A little sled pull action. A little, little energy. I'm, I'm down. Boost. I'm down. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. All right. No, no, you do camera. it, I feel, turn off the camera. Thanks, man. You do it, I'll film it. If you're a couch potato, this is not for you. That checks. <laughs> kind of tough, huh? Yeah, we really ought to get paid for this. We're advertising Snickers, Powerade. <laughs> A water bottle says the Navy on it. Wow. Navy. U.S. Navy. They may be advertising next to this video. I'll put it in the annotations, actually. There U.S. Navy. That'd be hilarious. Nope. Allie just pretty much plops down wherever she's at. <laughs> Good to go. You can tell it's warm. It's relatively speaking. She's not shivering. <laughs> Snickers rock. However, I will say the almond Snickers are amazing. Have you guys had those yet? We had the ice cream oh, Snickers. They're so good. Oh yeah, those are good too. Okay. Yeah, those are excellent. Price. Yeah, you went first. Look at right. look oh, at the sleeping bag know. cover. Dude, you should have knotted so, that. Yeah, it's like totally over. open. Yeah, I couldn't find a big enough bag. That's right. At least you got a little something something on there. All kinds of systems in representation on this hike. I think his pants are got a good habit. Compare all the pants. One of these pants is not like the other. Which one is different? The cotton one, I think, is different. Yeah. In the middle. He's soaked on down. So how's his socks going to be doing? Well, depends on his boots. His boots, if they're waterproof or they shed good, he might be okay. But it's, this is a problem when it's warm like this, is that that moisture seeps. It doesn't freeze. Yep. If it was really cold, if it melted, it would freeze solid and then you kind of got a shield those are synthetic pants yep those seem to be doing all right snow pants on the right they're just a, a thin covering are they just like a wind yep wind, like wind pants exactly no insulation perfect for this it's what you need 
they zip down around the boot. When you take the time to do them right, keep the snow out of your top of your boot. Exactly. It's just coming over the top, depending on how tall your boots are. Yep. We got some virgin snow up here we're plowing through. We might get into snowshoe territory at the campsite. Just might. I didn't bring them though, so it doesn't matter. It's just extra weight I didn't want to bring. It takes hours to prep for the hike too. Time is always a short commodity in TMP. Well, you see, we're talking avalanche stuff here. See that's treed right there? Just a short slope. Pretty benign for avalanche. You need a long, uncovered slope for severe avalanche danger. If you need to pop a layer, do it. You guys see what I was talking about the, at the trailhead about just not layering up? Yeah. Heavy insulation. You can see how warm you are now. Yeah, that other, that other sweatshirt would have been a problem. Yeah, I had, yeah. I had to share. That little uh, square there, right over his uh, right here. That's called useless weight up here. I know. That would be a cell phone that has no oh, you guys contact. Are about. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you guys are isolated <laughs> away from technology. Yeah, who needs and technology? I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing. That's right. Look, he's got the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, it's got a purpose. Some technology is good. This connects <laughs> us to the world and it shares your lessons, your adventures if with a big we audience. Do our last will and testament right here. <laughs> cell phones and iPods are. Hopefully not. <laughs> Share things with the world. Oh, no. you know? uh, yeah. Uh, actually, sure. technology can be good. Video games can be good, just, you know, in measured quantities. Moderation. Yeah. Just don't make it your life. Make part of this your life, getting out here. Technology's not bad. It's good. You just don't let it r rule your life and give your life purpose. He said as he used a little tool called YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm one for technology. I admit it. That snow's still coming down. That's right. Hey, you got cotton on too, bro. See, busted. Yep. Got some cotton underneath. Straight from the office to backpacking? Not quite. <laughs> but uh, this is tradition. This guy works long hours. Yeah. Most doctors do, by the way. Last suspect, not last suspect, but Tactical Doodle wants to be an MD. Last time I talked to him. Break time over. Do it. Good times. Just short breaks is all you need to get your breath and on we go. What up dog? This is easy. It's a good primer hike. Right. You got to see that. I know. We got some blue sky up there. Got that rugged side of that mountain up there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. There we go. Look at that. It's a training ground for these guys right here. One thing that sucks about being cameraman is I can't use my, my poles, my trekking poles, because I'm doing camera duties. Dog, how's your leg doing? You doing okay, dog? Allie? You're not at you, I hope. Temperature dropping, powder snow, getting deep. How deep is it? Maybe this will tell you. Uh, we are at an established campground. 
which in the wintertime is pretty much abandoned. Uh, the road leading up to it, of course, is closed. That's what we've been hiking in on. Great hike. For anybody, especially for these, these youth, uh, to come out here, it's something uh, that's challenging for them, especially towing that sled up. Challenging is good. Don't make it too hard. Same stuff I talked about in summer snow with my boy. You don't want to break their spirit. They won't want to come out with you ever again. One hour, 20 minutes to here. Not too bad. That's a good pace. Again, I'm going to reckon about two and a half miles we hiked in. Multiply it by four for winter, which is more or less comparable to summer hiking. Oh, it does my heart good to see that hard work being performed right there. There you go. These hosers did not know what a Jody was. They know now. We've been taught. There you go. Yeah, let, let them whippersnappers blaze the trail. Uh-huh. There you go. Snickers, steel, saw in tow. First aid kit in tow, level two variety. For the good doctor here, right. should he need it. Be prepared. Amen, brother. Uh, I don't know if I've talked about that on camera, but if you're taking youth groups out, it's up to you, man. Something happens up here, we can get them down rather expeditiously, but if it's a bad bleeding situation, maybe not. So you're gonna have to have a level two with you at least and be ready to handle it. Brosi, I'm glad you're in shape and able to hang on the hike, no joke. You don't get to see this if you are sitting home. Not in couch. these conditions. No way. I guess you could snowmobile it, but that's the wimp's way to get back here. Listen, you can, you can either feel like crap and then get sicker and die, or you can perform high performance, work out, feel good. I mean, it hurts to work out, well, yeah. doesn't it? I mean, if it doesn't, then you're probably not doing it right. So you work out, do your 30 to 90 minutes, and then you get to do this, plus you feel great, high yep. performance, and then you die. <laughs> Hopefully not up here. <laughs> not today. If so, we do have a sled to take you out on. Look at the teamwork <laughs> going on there. Wow. I'm getting ready to cry. Tears rolling down my cheeks seeing that teamwork. His rain cover totally blowing off. You don't need it. We don't go too much further, fellas. We're about home. Which way? This way. Follow me. Oh yeah, brother. Look at this snow. Watch this. <laughs> Lots of snow. I'm taking these guys to a really cool place. You see nobody's been back here. All virgin snow. Probably about two feet deep on a much deeper base that's been compacted by warm temperatures. <laughs> How's that rain cover working, dude? I've never seen one of these work right yet. They suck. But hey, try. Leave it off, he doesn't need it now. Need it. It's too cold, you don't need a rain cover now. In the YouTube environment, I do try to function as somewhat of a role model to dudes like this. If you're lucky enough to interact with youth, youth directly, I know some of you do, like Such, big thanks to you. Getting these boys out in these conditions, teaching them a thing or two, I'll tell you man, that's what being a man is all about, if you ask me. Depussification. Honestly, the harsher the better, to a level. Again, we don't want to break their spirits. We just want to give them confidence and a fun adventure memory. Fun. Believe it or not, this is a campsite. If my memory serves me, I'm not using the GPS today. There should be some picnic tables under here somewhere. And guess what? 
we got to dig them out. On. Yeah. So we're here, guys. Man, that snow's deep. Dudes, I think there's a picnic table here and one here. All right, let me give you guys a hint bomb on something. Don't drop anything you don't want to lose in the snow. <laughs> like a pocket knife or keys. You probably won't find it again. Uh, wallet. A wallet. Wallet. We're going to dig this picnic table out. We'll dig that one down. Or we'll dig down to that one. And then our tents are going to get set up right over here. And we have to dig down a ways. Otherwise, you're not going to have a foundation for your tent. We'll probably have to dig down until we hit firm snow. Whew. Our water filtering source, we need it just right down that steep embankment there. This is usually where I pitch my tent at this spot. I've been here about three times, bringing different youth groups up. My son's coming up here. It's just an ideal place in the winter time. Summertime, it sucks. You guys, come on back here, throw your packs against a tree here, and we're gonna start digging. We'll set the camp up, then we'll go find some standing dead wood, start uh, wood processing. You guys gotta go over yonder. You can dig in that side of the mountain. Oh my goodness. All right guys, hold up. We got shovels, don't get your hands all snowy. Yeah, right about there, uh, a little bit deeper in. Wherever, wherever it looks flat, or where you can make it flat. Which in the snow is more places than in the summer. <sighs> got three. So a snow shovel getting put together. This is a new one by Lifeline. It's pretty inexpensive. We're gonna see how it performs. <laughs> there you go. I mean, so this is the kind of snow I was telling you guys about. See how this is melted and it's compacted? This will be the foundation for your tent. So we're just going to take that layer of powder off till we get to this. You're not digging to the ground. This, by the way, has been a rock and snow shovel. I've used it for years. I have like three of them. Volet, big old snow blade on it. Relatively lightweight. Hey, nothing fancy, how come you don't snow cave? Uh, two reasons. One, it sucks. I've stayed in a snow cave several nights. I don't like it. Two, time. A lot of energy. For us to build a snow cave, you're looking at four hours at least. And then we have a temperature problem here. I will explain with this snow here. I got the mini cork mini one, two, three as my headlamp. See how that doesn't compact too well because it's getting colder? You want the snow to compact in order to make a good snow shelter. This is too dry and powdery. Now, the good news is with these steep banks, this one's about four feet, five feet deep, you could dig down, probably make a snow shelter. Um, but again, we get to time. And I still gotta teach the boys about firecraft. That's the primary focus of this trip. And we need a fire. So maybe some other days I'll do a snow cave. So how much deeper you think we should go? As long as you get to firm snow, that's as deep as you need to go. And just level, your, level it out to so just scrape it so it's nice and level. Or as level as you want it to be. If you don't care if it's level, then that's fine too. With both you guys sleeping in the tent, you want to level spot though so you're not rolling into each other all night long. How you guys feeling? Cold. 
cold feet. Be glad when a fire started, huh? Yeah. All right, so we have our camp set up. Over there in the distance, you might get a glimpse of the Phoenix light working as a beacon. I had all the dudes turn their lights off. I just have this one on for night filming to teach them that with snow on the ground, you really don't need to light. I won't be able to film without it though. It's gonna be just too dark. So, uh, I'm gonna show you the campsite here. My battery power is sapping quickly with night shot going and also uh, with the cold. Mid 20s now. We're gonna go find some standing dead wood, process it, make a fire, and we tried to dig down to the base, didn't we? Yeah. How'd yeah. that work? Uh, <laughs> yeah, not so well. Not existing. <laughs> About six feet of snow, we're trying to find some picnic tables, and it's just not worth the energy expenditure. So we gave up. We're going to do a fire platform. That's a game plan. And we're going to be safe during fire processing, of which we've discussed with these guys in depth on the way up. Off we go. I'm rocking a nice sore throat this morning. Excellent. Timber. <laughs> <laughs> 